Life in HD from WVUE TV New Orleans. This is Fox 8 News at 6. You're watching Fox 8 News. Time now, 746. A new foundation to assist in environmental disasters is launching here in New Orleans just in time for Earth Day. Penny Mew Edwards and Dr. Bonnie Shoemaker join us now to explain how the Gulf oil disaster played a role in this as well as Earth Day. It officially launches, I believe, tomorrow at the Hotel Monteleone. On Friday is Earth Day every year, April 22nd, and so it fell on Good Friday. And my Environmentalists Without Borders, this new foundation is having a soft launch. We're just up and coming. And um, what we will hope to do is to serve as a global warehouse for volunteer environmentalists to come together when any type of earth rescue mission is indeed deemed necessary. It sounds big, but you start small and it's one step at a time as she's shown me. And, and Penny, of course, we've heard of Doctors Without Borders organizations like this. Is it the same type of mission you'll respond anywhere? That would anywhere? be a prototype for it, whereas that would be a medical alert. Ours would be considered an echo alert. Anytime that anywhere in the world there is an echo alert sent out when there is an ecological or an environmental disaster, there would be a team such as Doctors Without Borders that would be prepared on a volunteer basis to simply go to the rescue. And up to this point, it seems as though there has been no global warehouse where everyone meshes and networks together in that fashion. Who can volunteer? Are you only looking for folks like Dr. Schumacher or can an ordinary person help too? Absolutely not. I would encourage everyone from a PhD down the line to someone who, as was the case here, can wipe pretty little oiled animals that are in distress, etc., etc. Perhaps make a quilt to keep someone warm when radiation is giving them the kind of chills that it does. It could be a full spectrum volunteer effort. And we've got some information we'll put up on the screen if you're interested in finding out more about how you can join Environmentalists Without Borders. Dr. Bonnie Schumacher, you have uh, done several rescue missions pertaining to the Gulf oil disaster in the Gulf. Um, your organization is Wings of Care? On Wings of On Care. On Wings of Care, excuse me. Tell us a little bit about what you've seen out there. Let's see, I first came out in May um, and I started flying my little plane over and I was flying really for scientists at the start which is how I got permission to fly in the no-fly zones. So we filed flight plans with the Air Force every day and flew low and slow. And first it was oil scientists who wanted to see where the oil was and what the nature of it was and whether there were animals. And then came the biologists who were actually looking for the animals. And then the coastal ecologists. Uh, these are not just scientists, but also um, down to earth, if you will, literally and figuratively speaking, um, ecologists. So we were flying over everything at that point. And, uh, what I saw, well first, it was the first time I'd ever seen your beautiful gulf. I had no idea, I'm sorry to say as an American, I had no idea what a treasure this place was. And then to see it for my first time, the beautiful, and then fly out 15 miles and see, see this horrible stuff covering it for miles and miles and tens, many tens of miles. So uh, all that's documented on my website and the stipulation for everyone that flew with me, which was at a very, very low cost, or just a contribution, was that everything they did had to be not for profit and for the benefit of the Gulf. So with that, all of the documentation that was done on my plane every day since last May um, has been given to everyone. It's on the internet. And we've been showing some video of your missions uh, here while you've been speaking this morning. Real quickly, because I want to get to these items. Do you see a need for a group like Environmentalists Without Borders? Oh, Wars? I think it's a wonderful idea. There have been so many people out here eager to come to the rescue. And, of course, they were told no in many cases for good reasons and maybe not for not so good reasons. You can't touch the animals. You can't come within 65 feet or 300 feet. And so there were a lot of people here, a lot of skills, who who were looking for a way, an authorized way to be of help. So if a group like this can channel the uh, authorization and the permit to the people with the skills, that would be extremely efficient. And maybe we would have rescued many more. Let's hope so we can respond better next time with a group like this. Penny, real quickly, you've brought some items here. Tomorrow at the Hotel Montleon's Earth Day, you're launching Environmentalists Without Borders. That and there's going to be 
things like this displayed for folks to come and learn more about how we can be eco-friendly. Walk us through. We've got about 30 seconds. What okay, you brought with you. Global Green is here representing some of their green building materials. This is called a dual flush. They are available. It's more efficient when um, for the use of water, which we don't tend to worry about too much in Louisiana. <laughs> There's a great shortage otherwise. <laughs> And unlike many people think, now this um, very high energy efficient lighting is available in many forms. We're used to these squiggly things. They tell me they even make flame tips for lady chandeliers. So go ahead and cut your cost down to 25% of what normal lighting costs. Very available. And um, we have a great recycling artist who will be there premiering some of his pieces. This is recycled Mardi Gras beads. He works with Rudolf Mata School for one, teaching children what to do with the waste that we find every year for Mardi Gras. So what a better beautiful way to utilize it than in art. And many of his pieces are earth friendly. They are showcasing areas of Louisiana and I think if you come tomorrow and take a peek at Stefan Wonger's work that you'll be pleasantly surprised at the quality of it. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for bringing all of this. Again, if folks want to learn more, they can turn out to the Hotel Monteleon tomorrow to celebrate Earth Day to learn more about this and Environmentalists Without Borders. We've Indeed. got all, all the information on our website, fox8live.com. Thank you ladies for your time <laughs> this morning. Thank you so much.